The art of dialogue. The persons with whom you are in dialogue with must be befriended and given the assurance that you have benefited from his knowledge and ideas, even if you disagree with the ideas. Dialogue involves an intellectual and linguistic connection, where different parties exchange ideas, thoughts, and plans that have been put in place, with the ultimate goal of improving these plans and enriching them and correcting what has gone awry. It has nothing to do with violence and force. Rather, the power of dialogue lies in enlightenment and kind words. Civilized and goal-oriented dialogue is what we must engage in as a way of communications with others, and in order to build bridges. It is not meant to put anyone down and destroy communication channels, for dialogue strives to build rather than to destroy. Believers who engage in dialogue must focus on the issues that are serious and important, and focus on the most relevant parts and the most achievable goal. Effort must not be haphazard, and the method used needs to be kind and must possess integrity throughout the whole process. We must show the other party with full humility and with the best manner where the positions may be incorrect and we must present the correct alternative view based upon evidence. We must not push the people we are in dialogue with into a corner, nor force them to admit their faults. It is sufficient to provide the evidence for our positions without making the other side feel injured or upset. We should never cut off our channel of communication and our opportunity for dialogue even if disagreement remain. As many doors as possible must continue to remain open. In this way, the opposing side will always have the chance to resume the dialogue at the appropriate time. When dealing with a dialogue partner with whom there is disagreement, we must approach him in a way that indicates that we have benefited from his idea and knowledge and we must always be kind and show good manners when dealing with him and debating with him. This will bring him closer to us and increase his trust in us, which leads to togetherness and love, and firmly establish the bridges of communication and dialogue. Unfortunately, the reality is that some people like to turn dialogue into a protracted argument simply for the sake of arguing. They feel that they must win and that their idea and position must dominate regardless of any evidence. When dealing with such situation, it is an absolute requirement to halt the dialogue. Nevertheless, a withdrawal must be done in an appropriate manner without causing injury. When dialogue absolutely needs to be stopped, it must be done with the utmost calmness and good manners, so that we do not lose the moral high ground. Furthermore, this leaves room for dialogue if and when a more positive atmosphere develops.